sales force has given governing limits. Name some of the governing limits. Softball queries. Maximum number of softball queries within a transaction. 100. Maximum number of DML statements within a transaction. Maximum number of records on which I can make a DML. DML rows. DML rows. And how many records we can make a DML operation? Ten thousand. Ten. Number of feature values in the transaction. Number of features. Like this, uh, governing limits are imposed on the every function. Now, according to my business, uh, I have a requirement. Like this. What is my requirement? Pitch all the opportunities. Close stage name is closed reward and update close data as well. This is my requirement. What is my requirement? Fetch all the opportunities whose stage name is closed reward and update close data as today. Close data as today. But uh, when I wrote the circle query, I got 23,000 records. How many records I received? 23,000 records. But according to the governing limits, on how many records I can make an update? 10,000. But how many records are getting? 23,000. Then what happened? It throws an exception for too many DML rows. But it can according to your requirement, you have to update. According to your requirement, you have to update 23,000. But we are getting only what? We can only update 10,000 records according to this transaction. But according to your requirement, you have to make an update on 23, which is not possible. How will you achieve this? How will you achieve this? Right. Next one. Now, according to my requirement, I told. Pitch. All the opportunities. Which are owned by the users. Whose role is. Who belongs to. Role and subordinates of and reassign them to. I told pitch all the opportunities which are owned by the users who belongs to role, who belongs to role and subordinates of manager. I told pitch all the opportunities which are owned by the users who belongs to the role and subordinates of management. When I wrote the circle query, I got 40,000 records. I got 40,000 records. How many records I have to modify? 40,000 records. But according to the governing limits, according to the governing limits, how many records you can update? 10,000 Then how will you achieve? So, according to, according to the governing limits, according to the governing limits, you can only update 10,000 records, but you have a requirement very to update more than 10,000 records, how will you achieve this? Then we are going for a concept called So when you want to when you want to override the governing limits, we have to look for the alternate solution. That alternate solution is what? Batch mix. What is the batch mix? It is a SN kernels operation. Batch mix is what? SN kernels operation. What is the batch mix? It is a SN kernels operation. What is the batch mix? It is a SN kernels operation. What the batch mix will do? Look at the operation. What the batch mix will do? Will break the operation. Let us say there are thousand accounts. I told fetch all the opportunities of these accounts and delete. I told fetch all the all the opportunities of the accounts. How many accounts we have? Thousand accounts. What is your business requirement? Delete all the opportunities of these thousand accounts. How many records we have? Thousand only. But how many records we are trying to delete? Opportunities of this account. Thousand opportunities may have number of opportunities. Let us say every opportunity has 10, 10. Every account has 10 opportunities. Every account has 50 opportunities. Now total number of opportunities which are created for this account is 25,000. When you say delete all the accounts with the corresponding opportunities. Delete all the opportunities of the accounts. Delete all the opportunities of these thousand accounts. Now for these thousand accounts, there are 25,000 opportunities are there. Now what will happen? 
It will throw exception. We cannot delete more than 10,000 records. Then what I am doing? We are taking the operation. Whatever the operation is there, we are breaking this operation into number of batches. Operation is broken down into number of batches. Operation is broken down into number of batches. So here we have taken 200. The operation is broken down into what? Number of batches. Now, all the batches are running parallelly. The operation is broken down into number of batches and all the batches are going to run parallelly. Now, when all these batches are running parallelly, let us understand. If entire operation is running as a single method, then how many sample per second write? 100. How many DML? 150. And how many records you can write? But now what did I do? I broke this operation into number of batches. When I am running all the batches parallelly, every batch will have what? 100 emails, 100 samples, 150 email, 10,000 calls. This batch also has what? 100 emails, 100 samples, 150 email, 10,000. Now when you broke them into number of batches and you are running every batch individually, then what is happening? Every batch is having a separate set of boarding limits. Every batch is getting what? A fresh set of boarding limits. If you are running all of them together, for entire operation, number of sample queries, 100. Number of email, 150. Number of records, 10,000. But I am not running the entire operation as a single operation. I am breaking the operation into number of batches. Running every batch independently. When you are running every batch independently, every batch will have what? 100 sample queries, 150 DMLs, 10,000 records. People are getting a point here. We are breaking the operation to number of batches, running all the batches independently from each other. Running all the batches independently from each other. When you run all the batches independently from each other, what is the advantage? What is the advantage? Every batch will have fresh set of boundary limit. Now batch 1, 10,000 records. Batch 2, 10,000 records. Batch 3, 10,000 records. So how many batches are there? 5 batches. Maximum one, how many records they can work? 50,000 records. If I am running like a single one, on how many records they can work? 10,000. So what is the concept of batch mix? Break the larger operation to number of batches and run all the batches independently from each other. Break the operation to number of batches, run the, all the batches independently from each other. So what is the advantage? Every batch can have its own set of governing limits. This is how we can bypass the governing limits exception. People are followed. What is the concept of batch mix? Break the operation to number of batches. Run all the batches independently from each other. Break the operation to number of batches. Run the operation independently from each other. Now, how to break operation to number of batches? How to break the operation to number of batches? To do that, first we need to go for database dot batchable interface. What is the interface we have? Database dot If any class, if you want to run a class like a batch mix, if you want to run any FX class like a batch mix, if you want to run any FX class like a batch mix, if you want to run any FX class like a batch mix, what should I do? Break the class. Okay, what should I do? Class should implement a database dot batchable interface. So global class example prevents database dot what is the interface you have to implement database dot batchable interface if you want to run a batch of if you want to run a class like a batch of if you want to run a class like a batch of class has to implement database dot batchable interface i told you whenever we are implementing the interface automatically what should i do define all the methods in the interface what are the methods we have Start, execute. What are the three methods that are defined in the batchable interface? I told you in the last session. If a class is implementing a interface, all the methods in the interface has to be redefined. 
What are the methods we have? Start, execute, finish. Start, execute, finish. What are the three methods? Start method, execute method, finish method. Now, what is the purpose of the start method? Start method. What is the purpose of start method? This method will fix. I'll give the hard copy reason. This method will fix all the. This method will fix all the records on which we want to run the logic. Start method. What it does? It will fix all the records on which we want to run the logic. Now, what is the syntax of the start method? Global database dot query locator start database dot batch group. What is the syntax? Database dot query locator or iterable any one I have to use. Now start. Now, when do you go for database dot query locator? Generally, when you write a query, generally when you write a query, when you write a query, how many records are you going to get? When you write a query, how many records are you going to get? Fifty thousand records. Sample query will give you how many records? Fifty thousand. But if you use the database dot query locator, fifty million records will give. How many records it is going to give you? Fifty million records. Generally, when you write a sample query, how many records it is going to give you? 50,000. But if you use a query locator, you are going to get 50 million records. When do you use query locator? When you want to write. When we want to write. Write sample query and paste the data. When you want to write a sample query and paste the data from database, then we go for what? Database dot query locator. When you use a database dot query locator, how many records we are going to fetch? 50 million records. When do you use database dot query locator? When you want to write a sample query and get the data. When you want to write a query and get the records from the database, then we go for what? Database dot query locator. What is the next one we have? When do you use it? When we want to fail. Data using a complex logic. If you want to write a proper class, write some logic and give list of record, then we go for what? A trouble. If you are going for a trouble, how many records we can give you? If you are going for a trouble, how many records is going to fetch? Only 50,000. But the point is, a trouble is given by writing a custom logic. If you want to write your own custom logic and fetch the records, then you go for what? Iterable. You want to frame a proper class, you want to make a custom logic and give you, then we go for iterable. Generally, what is the format we are going to use? Database dot body locator. What is the format we are going to use? Database dot body locator. So start method. What is the purpose of start method? What is the purpose of start method? It is used to fetch the records on which you want to perform the operation. Then we have execute. What is the purpose of execute method? Execute. Logic what you want to implement. Logic that we want to implement. Logic that you want to implement should be defined. So execute method will have what? Logic. Execute method will have what? Logic. Whatever the logic that you want to write, that should be defined within a execute. Whatever the logic that you want to write, that should be defined within a execute. Whatever the logic that you want to write, that should be defined within a execute. Are you getting my point? Okay. Let us see the third one. Finish. What is the syntax of this? Local void On the adjustments. On 
on the exhaust valve. Okay, okay. Give it, give it, give it. So we are defining this. So global void exclude. We are defining what? Global void exclude. What is defined exclude? Whatever the business logic that you want to write, that should be defined within the exclude. Whatever the business logic that you want to write, that is defined within the exclude. Okay. You open the door, Right. So let us see. What are the logic that you want to write? That should be defined within the exclude method. What are the logic that you want to write? That should be defined within the exclude method. Now what is the purpose of finish? Once all the exclude methods are completed, what are the logic you want to write? That should be defined in the finish. What are the logic that you want to write? That is defined in the finish. What are the logic you want to write? That is defined in the finish. Okay. 